stars, more commonly known as starfish, are carnivorous invertebrates of the phylum Echinodermata in the class Asteroidea. There are over 2,000 species of sea star living in all of the world's oceans, found at various depths and water temperatures. Five arm varieties are the most common, hence the name, but there are species with 10, 20 and even 40 arms. They are purely marine animals. They have bony, calcified skin, which protects them from most predators, and many wear striking colours that camouflage them or scare off potential attackers. Beyond their distinctive shape, sea stars are famous for their ability to regenerate limbs. They accomplish this by housing most or all of their vital organs in their arms. Most sea stars also have the remarkable ability to consume prey outside their bodies. Using their feet, they pry open clams or oysters, and their stomach emerges from their mouth and oozes inside the shell. The stomach then envelops the prey to digest it, before withdrawing it back into the body. So how do these colourful little stars get around? The underside of the starfish is covered with hundreds of little tube feet that contain cells that are specialised for adhesion. These are used for walking around, attaching to rocks and for holding onto prey. To move, each tube foot swings like a leg, lifting up and swinging forward, then planting itself on the ground and pushing back. The bulb at the top of the tube foot and inside the starfish are called ampulla. When the ampulla contracts, it's squeezing water down into the tube foot, which then extends. To retract the tube foot, the ampulla relaxes. So, sea stars use water pressure to move their legs. Each foot has two sets of secretory cells that secrete compounds that allow the foot to first attach, then detach to a surface. These are mainly used when moving across or up sheer surfaces. Sea stars and other echinoderms are extremely important to the biodiversity of our oceans. Invertebrates make up around 95% of animals in the ocean, so they are the most common major group and starfish are a very important predator in the shallow ecosystem. They eat basically anything that they come across. Their feeding activities help to control the ecosystem. They are a keystone species. If that species is affected, it's going to have a disproportionately greater effect on the whole ecosystem because you're removing a key component. So next time you see a starfish, take a moment to reflect on both their beauty and their importance to life on this planet.